say she's sassy and sexy. Her critics, and there are a few of them too, say otherwise. But there's one thing about Madonna no one can deny, not even the lady herself. She shamelessly promoted herself all the way to the top of the rock pile. And now she's at it again with a new movie which she calls a documentary and others call filth. Just the title should give you a fair idea of what it's all about. In bed with Madonna. It consumed 250 hours of film. Madonna on stage. Off stage. Madonna being Madonna. Well, maybe. When you meet the lady herself, you find she's changed yet again. The Marilyn Monroe look is out. The brunette Madonna is in business. Changing your hairstyle now and colour, does that give you a few or maybe a couple of weeks of a little bit more privacy? Well, what it does is, you know, when you have bleach blonde hair, as soon as you walk out into a street, people look. You know, it's like a bright light. So it gives me about about six to ten seconds more of anonymity. She might want a few extra seconds of anonymity, but there is nothing private about her latest product. We really didn't know what we were doing. We just said, I just said, film it, you know, because I, I was, I'd grown really fond of, of, of all the people I was working with and they were so entertaining to me. And I, I just said I, I wanted to make a movie of it. And you also wanted to show that uh, you're human like anyone else, didn't you? Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, it wasn't in my head going, uh, I have to show the other side of myself to the world. You know, I have to show the human side of myself. Um, it, 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 to me, it's more of a, of a movie about life, period, than, than just my life. It wasn't always flattering to you either, was it? Well, no. Definitely not, but I'm not always pleasing to be with or look at or whatever, like anybody. We can't get it to sound better than this, then I'm not doing a show. So someone who knows about sound better come up here and explain something to me. Madonna's cameras were with her every step of the way on the 27-city Blonde Ambition Tour last year. A tour the cynics called Blind Ambition. Because it's raining, Freddie. I know it is. You think it's funny. I don't, don't think it's funny at all. Oh, this bird. Get out. I'm having a business talk. Goodbye. Get out. You run a tight ship. <laughs> yeah. Are you a tar? In terms of business, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I am. But are, are you as hard on yourself as you often are on the, on the staff? I think I'm harder on myself. Are you? Yeah. In what ways? I just, I always want to be perfect, you know, I don't want to make any mistakes, I don't, when, my sh when I have a show, I don't want to sing a bad note, I don't want anything to go wrong in terms of my own performance. I, I, I insist on being perfect and even if people say, oh, it was so great, I'm just going to concentrate on the one thing I know in my mind that I did wrong and then, of course, I'll be obsessing about it all night and meanwhile everybody else will be telling me how great it was, so. And you take that with a grain of salt? Yeah, I mean, it's hard for me to take compliments. Great. Take a breath. Good. This is crazy. Nobody, nobody talks about this on film? Talks about what? The insanity of doing this all on a documentary. It, 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 doc Along for part of the ride was Warren Beatty, Madonna's boyfriend at the time. And if this moment is anything to go by, he wasn't exactly a willing passenger. Well, anyone that comes into this insane atmosphere, you realize that they all feel it when they come into this atmosphere. I mean, when they come into your dressing room, when they come wherever you are, they feel Since crazy. then, of course, Madonna and this particular leading man have gone their separate ways. If you want to talk at all off camera, you have nothing to do. <laughs> she doesn't want to live off camera, much less that's talk. Okay, okay. Do you think a lot of people see you as a sex maniac who doesn't get enough? I'm sure some people have that gross error in their mind about about me, yeah. Yeah. And is it true that you'd often prefer a book than a man? Well, I think I said in an interview once that 
you know, that people have this idea that I'm this raving nymphomaniac and that I've got to have sex all the time. And I said, frankly, I'd rather read a good book because in the end, I mean, I mean, I think people, if you're referring to a, 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 like a, a one night stand or a superficial relationship, something you know isn't going to last, it's really more trouble because then you have to deal with it. You know, I mean, it's, it's, you're better off reading a good book, really, you know, so. And, and might you... Read a good book? No, actually, I was going to ask you, might you have, occasionally have a one night stand? Oh, I've been guilty of that, yes. Uh-huh. Today, it's Madonna the Demure. Yesterday, it was Madonna the Demon. Like a Prayer, the video that rocked the Catholic Church, starring a former convent girl who, at the age of 10, had only one ambition, to be a nun. The nuns were like movie stars to me. They had a kind of grace about them. They were, un you know, they were unreachable. They were mysterious. And I, and I think you've always said sexy. Yeah, there was something about them, you know. I, I just... I thought they were so great, I thought they were special. And of course I wanted to be special, so, you know, I thought, okay, I'll be a nun. And particularly with the name Madonna. Yeah, of course. And, and was it true that uh, you thought you'd either be a nun or a superstar? Well, not at the time. I mean, what happened is I wanted to be a nun and then I discovered boys one day. So um, I took off my jacket, I took off my blouse, I was stripped down to my undershirt and my skirt. And I went chasing after this boy and I tackled him on the ground. And then finally the nuns came to his rescue and said, you know, sat, took me in a room, sat me down and explained to me that um, not only was that no way for a lady to behave, but it was no way f for a nun, if someone who was aspiring to be a nun to behave, because nuns are not interested in the affection of men. They don't go around raping young boys. Well, chasing them. I don't know about oh, okay. raping them. Um, and... I didn't have, I, that hadn't occurred to me that they had a celibate life, you know, and I was like, what? You know, because I was just starting to be attracted to boys, and so I, I said, okay, forget it, that's it, forget it, I'm not going to be a no, nun. No. <laughs> <laughs>